Yeah, so now we're going to celebrate. Kids, so good to have you guys joining us, especially now and not 15 minutes ago. So glad you're here for the baptism. So I'm going to call down the, the two people getting baptized. If you would like to join with them, you can feel free to, let's see, who we've got back there? Pastor Dave is back there. Dave, put your hand up. If you spontaneously are like, you know what, I might want to get baptized, go talk to Dave. He'll make sure you understand what it means and you can join in the party here. Baptism is a party. It's a celebration. Uh, Jesus said there's more rejoicing in heaven when one sinner repents and comes home to the Father uh, than over 99 who don't need to repent. And so angels are having a party when, when one person is declaring their faith in Jesus. And so we as a church want to join that party. That's what we're doing with baptism. We're joining in the party. What's going on in heaven, we're joining in. We're saying angels, what's, what you're celebrating, we want to celebrate. It's important to us as well. So I'm going to call down Michael and Katie. Would you guys come down here? Hi, Katie. So what we do normally is we, we have them fill out a form, make sure they understand what baptism is, and if there's questions, we follow up, and we have conversations, and that's happened for both these guys. And, um, um, but then we ask them just to read a piece of their testimony, not the whole thing, not you know, super long, but just a, a little piece of what God's done and, and what led them to this moment. And so Katie is going to go first. Give it up for Katie. If you need, just let me know. I'll take over. But um, want was, me to hold this for you? Yes. Yeah, no, I got it. It was April 16, oh, 2022. I had been accused of a ter terrible accusation. I felt like my life was over. I hurt my husband and my sons more than I can even describe. They deserve so much more than I was giving them. While I was pray praying with the great friend Lisa. A new way of life. For a new way of life, I experienced a beautiful feeling of acceptance from the Holy Spirit. I laugh now, but I thought it was going to actually have bruises from the hug he had given me. <laughs> the freedom that comes with that has turned my life around. I wasn't living, I was just existing. Life is now beautiful again, and I will be okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. That was April 16th, the day before Easter, when she came to faith in Christ. How awesome is that? The day before Easter. Thank you. Michael. Good morning. Just a sec. Okay. I got to take it in. <clears throat> so, God and I have been searching for one another all my life. And... Recently, I came from believing in God to knowing God. You see, it's, it's, been a, it's been a moment. I started studying the Word of God, and I still do, and, and that's what made a big difference in my life. You see, I remember the day, I remember the day that I figured it out, and God came to me. We were studying John in one of, the, one, of my, one of my studies, and Jesus told his disciples that he had to go. And he said he had to go because he had to bring, he had to send, they had to send a guide in to help us. That was the spirit. And I'm like, I, I, I get it. Wait a minute, I get it, right? Because God was human, he couldn't stay here. And then he told his disciples I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. He said, no one can come to the Father except through me. And I thought that was kind of gangster. <laughs> <laughs> but I was new, I'm learning, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He, he, he told us that, I um, um, really, really, got, really got stepped out here for a minute because that was my big, my big moment, right, for me. Because I, 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 really, I really got it then. You know, it really made sense yeah. to me. 
because I understand that no one can get through him, get to the Father except through Jesus. So I started, that's where I began my relationship with Jesus. Just, just in case. And I, thanks. And I started a relationship with his Father and the Spirit. You see, God is a miracle in my life. Hmm. He's my Savior, and he's my guide hmm. through this life into the next. So I asked God, I asked God to, to bring me some miracles and to surround me with good, no, great Christian men and women that will teach me how to learn what God wants from me in my life. And God gave me the miracle, <clears throat> gave me the miracle of the Bridget and Ryan Krause who brought me to Christ. Brought me the miracles of my friend Cheryl, who's going to baptize me today, my sister in Christ. He, brought, he surrounded me with the miracle of our men's group, which I call my M-E-N-D-S men's group, because we mend one another. And they're my brothers in Christ. And then he gave me the miracle of true life through a friend of mine, Bass, who's here today. And out of the blue, my friend Bass says, hey, man, you want to come to church on Sunday? I'm like, okay. <laughs> and God's timing, right? So I came, and I saw the miracle. And I got to tell you that Chris is a miracle, and he's probably told people, you know, to bring their friends to church, right? Surprise. <laughs> but really, thank you so much. I, I love you for bringing me here. I love you all because you've been so welcoming. So I stand here, I stand here with the armor of God, with the belt of truth, with the, the chest plate of righteousness, and I stand fitted in, in readiness, which is the word of God. And with all this, I have the shield of faith, which is what I use to extinguish the fiery arrows of the evil one. And with my helmet of salvation and the sword, which is the word of God, I hear and now, today and forever, give my life to Christ. So thank you all for sharing. Amen. Thank you, Michael. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to call down Lisa. Lawler, who is baptizing Katie. Lisa has played a very instrumental role in Katie's coming to faith in Jesus. So, um, Katie, I'm going to help you get in. Steve or Dan, if you guys could help over here. Yeah. There you go. So, I'm going to hold that. You sit on that. Remember your knees up in front. Okay, and then Dan, if you could just help her when she gets out. Lisa, I'm gonna hold this up in case you have, you have something to share. Oh boy. Just don't drop I'm it in. I'm such a crybaby today. <laughs> and it's such an honor and a privilege to be used by the Lord in such a powerful way. It reminds me, sometimes we forget, this is a rebirth for me too, that Jesus isn't done with me yet. And just when you think, when you share the Lord with people, and you pray, and you're like, I don't know, you never see. This is a miracle. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> and God never gave up on me. He doesn't give up on you. Mm. And we can't give up on everybody else, because you just never mm. know. That's good, Lisa. Thank you. I love you. I'm good. Yeah, okay. Let's rock it. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold this up so everyone can hear you. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, yeah. Everybody needs a little push sometimes. <laughs> so
So hang tight, hang, hang close by after Michael. We're going to pray for you guys. Michael's being baptized by his friend Cheryl and the leader of his men's group, Mr. Bob McDonough. Yeah, scoot forward as much as you can. Forgot to say that to Katie. <laughs> Did you, Anna? Yeah, sure. Uh, Michael, it's been um, a pleasure to be part of uh, your journey to God. Um, the Bible says that draw near to me and I will draw near to you. That's one of God's many promises. And I've seen you draw near to God over the past several years. And it's just been so miraculous to watch those light bulb moments when you've called me up and you read a new scripture and you're like, I get it, I get it. And it's just been such a joy and a pleasure. And I'm so proud to call you my friend. And I loved hearing you profess your faith in Jesus Christ. And because of that faith um, in the spirit of Matthew 28, I now baptize you. Well, Bob, let me, real quick, do you have something you want to share? Sure. So, so I echo what Lisa was saying earlier, uh, just the fact, Michael, that... Um, that God allows us to be used in others' lives. It's, it's, it's humbling. And as one who has dealt with anger and anxiety and lust and all these different things that Chris is talking about, I want the body to know to keep stepping up, keep coming forward, keep showing up in those, in those small groups. We got some guys back there that are standing for Michael right now. They're there every week to be a blessing to him, and God is using yeah. each one of them in his life. It's a pleasure. Yeah, guys, actually, yeah, can you guys come down here? Michael asked if you, the men's group can, can encircle him while he's getting baptized. You can, maybe you can get a hand on him, too. Everybody get a hand, push him down, help, help with this. Just be careful back there with the wires. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's, I'll hold this up to you, Cheryl. All right, Michael, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's, um, let's have you guys gather up front, and I, I want to let anybody who, who is a friend or in a group with these guys or knows them, a uh, family member wants to gather around them, we're going to pray one final blessing over these two, and then we'll dismiss. <laughs> yeah. Face one, you guys face uh, our congregation. Come on, you guys, gather around, put a hand on them. We're going to pray for these guys. Jesus, thank you for these two. Thank you for their commitment to you this day. But thank you for your commitment to them. Thank you that you went after them. Thank you that you used people in all different ways to get a hold of their hearts, to open their eyes, to see you for who you are. I pray that your spirit would empower them to live for you. Your spirit would empower them to shine as salt and light in this world, that they would experience more and more freedom as they walk out this journey with you as their Lord and their Savior. I pray that you would be on their lips constantly, that when they tell their stories, the center, the focus, the star of that story would be you, Jesus. I'm reminded of the song, This Is My Story, This Is My Song. Tell of my Savior all the day long. 
May that be true of Katie and Michael. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. Come say congratulations to these guys. God bless you.